Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Crystal Flora and today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved these faux locks. As of right now, it is currently, I want to say three weeks into the hairstyle. So they've grown out, but they look really, really good. So if you want to see how I went from this to this, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting off the video with itty bitty pre-parted braids down courtesy of my baby sister Jack and I didn't feel like doing it for a change. So I ran into a small problem when I started actually looping the locks through. Um, because my hair is so short, it cre created too big of a loop or a hole at the base of my head and I didn't like that so instead I switched to un- braiding the ends of the braid that my little sister did and then i would loop one strand of the braid through the loop of the faux lock and then i would braid it in and that's how i did what i did And the last thing left to do is to obviously wrap your natural hair or the braids that are out of the strand using some type of textured hair. I personally use spring twist hair. You can use Marley twist hair. You could use Cuban twist hair, um, jumbo twist, whatever you want, at whatever your heart desires, as long as it's some type of textured hair that matches the lock. And just a disclaimer, I did not wrap each lock as I went. Um, meaning as i installed each lock or braided each loop and i didn't automatically wrap it using the spring twist air i don't know why for some reason i just took a more systematic approach this time because i just kind of got caught in the rhythm and was moving fairly well so i got to it but it's not yet just not yet just just wait a minute I also wanted to mention that I have no idea how long this took me. All I know is that I was going to brunch with my best friend the following day or like the weekend and I wanted to look good for my photos. So I was rushing to do that but I still don't know how long it took me in total and that's because like I don't sit and like hyper focus on things. Whenever I do my hair it's like of leisure, it's just of relaxation or pastime so like for instance, I was watching and binging Boy Meets World on Disney Plus the whole entire time. I would stop to randomly joke around with my baby sister or I would like take a small little break and scroll down my phone, respond to text messages, view videos, etc. So like whenever you're doing your hair by yourself for you to say, oh, it only took me so and so amount of hours okay are we keeping track of time or are we counting from like 
the how long it took you because it could have been that it only took you four hours but it was over the span of four days you feel me so I don't like to think like that I'm not the quickest anymore I don't even try my hardest to do that if I need to go somewhere I'll pop a scarf on and I'll leave so yeah have fun when you're doing your hair don't make it this agonizing process or something that you dread because having black hair is a beautiful experience. Um, I used to think in that way that like, oh, my hair being done is the only thing that like makes me feel good. I don't feel pretty when my hair is not done. And then I cut it off and I realized I got a beautiful face. I got a beautiful head and a beautiful head shape. So like, don't ever let that put you down. Especially if your hair is not done, like just living in your true identity and your true essence with your natural texture, that's amazing. Like it's like kudos to you because not everyone has reached that level of character development or like comfortability with their own selves. So yeah, I don't know how I started talking about that, but enjoy your hair. Enjoy yourself. Have fun when you're doing your hair point blank period. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.